This one's going to be on NZB Git is a Usenet binary downloader. Um, it's kind of like using torrents so you can download your files, but this one's using, you know, Usenet um, news groups and all that. So, that being said, how do you use this? And we're just going to focus on the web UI version of uh, NZB Git. They do have a NCurse interface and a command line one, but I'll probably do that in, on another video. Okay, but this one is just for the web UI, which is really good. I like it. Um, and this one is version, what version is this? 14.1, which is uh, the newest one, I believe. And it's much better if you use the older one, it sucks. Okay, but the new version, this one's real good. So how to use this here. Uh, once you connect to here, you want to go to your settings. Uh, in the past, I had to do this from uh, a configuration files which is fucking stupid, but now they have a pretty, you know, GUI to use here. Uh, makes it real easy. Anyways, go into paths, right? Make this bigger. So the only thing you have to change in here is uh, where do you want to save it to? Some people save it to their home folder and download folder. Uh, that's fine. I created my own folder called DL Usenet because, you know, I want all the files to go to just that folder. And everything else in here you can leave, you know, you don't have to change anything else, only that part here, okay? Um, and it'll create like these other folders for you inside that folder. So for example, uh, I saved it to my, uh, you know, home folder DL Usenet, and they'll generate these five folders for you. And that's where they're gonna do all the work, like uh, downloading, um, post processing, and uh, temporary folders and all that. So that's what they do in there. Next thing you want to do is your, um, you know, add, add your account. Um, so what I used was, what was that this call? I don't even call it Zen News or Zoo News. Anyways, this is my provider for my Usenet. I signed up for a free trial, like a two-day free trial. So this is the settings that you want to use here if you're using this one. Um, so this is a trial setting here. And you can see that it'll tell you your server address, your port that you want to use. So this one is non-encrypted port, and this one's the encrypted port, and how many connections you have, right? So that's all you gotta know when you entering your um, your account here. So give your name, any name you want. So I call this by my provider, which is Zoo News or Zen News. I don't know. Uh, skip that, skip that, you don't need that. Okay, now the server is the one that they told us, right? So I fill that out. The port, depending if you want to use encrypt, uh, encryption or not. So I'm not using any encryption, so I use that port right there. Uh, username, I just created, uh, you know, your account, username and all that. This one I created um, for this two-day free trial. So even if you look at this video later on, it's not going to work because it will expire already. Um, anything else in here? So if you want to turn on encryption, then you make sure you use the other port, all right? Uh, not this port, uh, the other port, which is 5630. So depending if you want to use uh, encryption SSL or not. Anything else? Oh, yeah, in your connections, all right? This is uh, the max number of simultaneous connection to this server so that's it and then you add uh, you know save changes and all that that's all you gotta do for that part security here um, what is that uh, so they tell you your, your port that you want to connect to so right now we're connecting to localhost and the port is 6789 so that's the default port uh, this is the default username so nzb git and uh, the default password is, I don't know, what is this here? That's the default password to connect to this web UI. So you actually have to know this before you connect to this uh, web UI here. But I'll post you in the description or I'll show you how to find that out if you didn't know uh, what the password was or whatever. Uh, it should be in your configuration files also. And that's pretty much it. You, you know, that's all you need to do in here. Everything else... Um, you know all these other crap you don't really need to do they do have an RSS feeds but that's if you actually have a username account and you want to add uh, you know the feeds in um, what else is in here mm, not really download
LQ. I didn't change any of this and it was fine. So uh, this part checking is basically if you never use Usenet, is that once they download the file, they would have to check it if you know all the bits um, are verified. If it's broken or something, then they'll tell you. But this one it handles it automatically. I remember in the old days, I actually had to uh, tell it to use a script or whatever, and then it would check it after it downloads it, which is a pain in the ass. But this new version, they take care of all that shit for you, all right? That's why I like it. Uh, and this one, is, I think it's using the part two command or something like that. Um, not sure, but they'll look for these extensions, right, to do that. Anyways, that's it for that one. Unpacking, so sometimes a file is in a raw format or a, you know, a zip format or something like that. Then they'll use these um, uh, programs on your system. So make sure you have you install like unrar or 7-zip or 7-z, I mean, and they'll handle all these um, extractions for you. And they do have, you know, external scripts if you want to run something else. Like, oh, I want to move this file to this other place. You can do it right here. That's pretty much it for the settings in here. So as far as using the program, let me uh, zoom out a little bit here. Um, it's kind of like using torrents. You know, you go download the torrent files or whatever, right? Well, this one's not using torrents. This one's using NZB files. So that's what we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna go and search for, let's say, um, HD wallpapers. Let's go right here. And it's kind of like torrents, but you know, let's say you go download, um, what do we got here? Landscape here. Click that. It'll download the NZB file. And let's go back in here. We'll click on add. Uh, you can add different ways. You can add by URL. You can scan it from your, um, you know, your, your incoming directory, which is your um, NZB file here or a folder here. If you drop it in here, then it will scan it from there. Otherwise, you can add by, uh, you know, local file here, and we'll just add that in manually here, right? And you have it, uh, what was that, priority, high, very high, normal, so on and so forth. Categories, like if this was a movie, a series, uh, music, or software, you don't have to use any of that shit, but, you know, they have it there for you. Anyways, we hit submit, and now it'll start downloading uh, this file here not that hard um, they'll tell you what was that the age of it so how many days ago this was posted um, file size and how many seconds left so on and so forth um, anything else in here no once it's done right it'll go into your history and I'll say success and this is your you know folder here uh, this is the message for all your warnings and everything that you download and settings not that hard so once you have your files you can open um, your download folder your destination DS was that DST folder and this is all your uh, wallpapers that you have right so there you go that's how you would download stuff and that's pretty much it if you want to get more I guess uh, search engines for uh, Usenet files you can use uh, this thing here. They give you a list up here. here. Uh, they'll tell you which one's free to use, and which one's paid, so on and so forth. If you want to download like TV shows, uh, this one's like the best one. They have like all the fucking shows on here. Uh, different, what is that? Uh, you know, they're, they're categorized it by uh, seasons, and they'll have like different uh, 720p, 1080p, and all that. So I like this one a lot. It definitely, if you want to use it for TV shows, you can use that one. Uh, anything else in here? Pretty much it for the program. Not that hard. You know, they do have these other ones: success, failure, delete, duplicate, and hide. If you complete it, you can delete it. So, for example, if I want to uh, delete this one, this one just deletes it from the history, so you don't have to see it anymore. You can delete. Same thing with the message. You can clear it right so that's it so anyways show you how to set this up because we just only talk about the web UI portion um, 
but that tree has this up. Oh yeah, something that I was missing too is that over here they tell you automatic refresher. Uh, how many seconds you want to refresh this, right? And here you can set your limits, so you don't want to use up all the bandwidth. Uh, you can set up a limit if you want. Uh, anything else in here? If you click on this one here, it'll tell you in your stats uh, how many free space you have left and so on and so forth. And if you click on this thing here, they'll just tell you, you know, uh, NZB get the version that you have. So I'm using version 14.1, right? Which is, uh, I think, the newest one. Anywho, how do you set this fucking thing up? Um, so go into your uh, package manager and just search for, you know, NZB get. If you're on uh, Arch, you use, you know, Pac-Man. Uh, if you're on um, Ubuntu, you use app get or aptitude. Yum, if you're on Fedora, so on and so forth. Or you can use your software center or whatever the fuck you use. But you're searching for NZB get and we'll download this version, right? 14.1, so on and so forth. Uh, after you install and everything, you want to go into this folder here, um, USR share NZB get. So just CD into that. And in here, in this folder, they'll have this um, NZB get conf. This is basically just a uh, sample file or a sample configuration that you can use. So that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna copy this one here, All right? USR share NZB git and NZB conf file. And you wanna send that to your home folder dot uh, NZB git. All right, so that's all you gotta do. Make sure there's no extension. Like this one, the original file has a dot conf. And this one, there's no extension at the end. It's just NZB get, uh, which is a hidden file. So do that after uh, you copy to your home folder. You can use your, um, you know, gedit, kate, um, mousepad, leafpad, whatever text editor you want to use. But let me show you what is inside here. Uh, you don't actually have to edit it, but if you want to find the password or whatever. Uh, what else is in here? dot uh, um because before you know they don't tell you like the, the default password to connect to your uh, web ui so you can go in here and just search for um what is that security if i spell it right security here and go down and you can see that uh, they'll tell you the port that you need to connect to and the default password and username is NZB get and the password. Oh, no, I mean the username is NZB get and the password is this here, and that's how you would you know uh, log into the web UI that we did before. That I show you already, but that's what you gotta do in here. If you want to, um, what is that? Uh, change your um, your what was that your main uh, folder from here? You can do that, or you can use the web UI like I show you but you can do that later or change it later if you want but in here what we're doing here was just to get the username and password which uh, that's the default who knows if they change it in the future but that's how you you know get it uh so after you do that all you gotta do is type in um what's that nzb get let me quit out of this first though let's see so if i do quit here it'll stop the server but once, uh, th if this is your first time, you want to run the daemon. So nzb get dash d for daemon. And this thing will, you know, launch. And all you got to do is connect to it. It's just type in, uh, you know, localhost. And then, uh, what's that? Colon 6789. And then this is how you connect to the web UI. And from here, you can do the, all the changes that I just talked about uh, earlier. Uh, so that's all you got to do for that portion. All right. Uh, if you ever want to quit, you know, you can just type in nzb get q and it'll quit. And if you refresh this, you know, there's no more. Um, anything else in here? No, that's pretty much it. That's how you would set this up. The configuration is not that hard. You know, you, just, you can change the, the username and password if you want for the web UI. Um, the download folder that you wanted to set it to that's all you gotta do from here and everything else is smooth sailing 
Uh, you can set up a cron ta was a cron job to do all the other crap. But pretty much that's it uh, for the application. Uh, next time I'll probably do the command line one and the end curse one, which is not very good. But I'll do it anyways because uh, some people like their command line and, and terminal stuff. So that'll be it for this video.